Hey yogis, I'm Nicole. Welcome back to My Yoga Time. Today's yin class, we're focusing on the upper body, in particular releasing tension through the shoulders and also correcting any bad posture. So to begin with, we will start standing, which we normally don't do in a yin class, and I'll get you to come close to a wall. So standing with your right hip next to the wall, take the right arm behind you and you want the palm to be flat. Spread the fingers wide and push the pads of the fingers into the wall. And then turn the eye of the elbow to face the wall. Now, the closer you get to the wall, the deeper the pose will be. Step away to lighten. You might choose to place your left fingertips just across the body onto the wall. Bring the right shoulder down and then look over your left shoulder. So we're just targeting that brachial plexus, that nerve plexus. So we never want to stretch the nerves, but they should be able to move and glide freely. And for many as we age, sometimes that simply doesn't happen. So before coming into our yin poses where we're holding the position for quite some time, it can be helpful just to floss or release those stuck nerves. And when you're ready, let's change sides. So fingers spreading wide, eye of the elbow facing the wall, shoulder coming down, option to look over your left, uh, right shoulder. And let's release. From here, we'll come down onto the mat, onto all fours. Moving into your puppy pose. So if you are nursing a shoulder injury, then skip um, that arm for this pose. So if, for example, my left shoulder's not happy, I'm gonna bend that arm and use the back of that palm as a pillow. Otherwise, the option to straighten both arms. Feel free to place your block or a pillow or something under the head if you need to. Final option, hands into prayer above the head. So as with all of my classes, I ask that you place the very tip of your tongue where the teeth meet the roof of the mouth. Keep a little space in between the top and bottom teeth. The jaw stays relaxed, but gently tone through the back of your throat. For ujjayi breath. And lifting up with your next inhalation, we'll give the shoulders a quick rest. Just walk the hands back to sit on the heels, only if there's no complaints with the knees. Hands will rest next to the feet, palms facing up. Option to find your mudra, chin mudra. Now, if there is discomfort in the knees here, then just come down and lay flat on your belly instead. So 
So just letting those shoulders fall heavy. And when you're ready, come on up. So next pose, not quite a yin pose, just a brief one to release any tension in the neck. You can cross those legs. Take the hands behind you, interlace the fingers, elbows pointing to the left, head turning to the left, and then drop the ear towards the shoulder. You'll feel the chin lift on a diagonal. And then we'll change sides. So a lovely release through the neck here though. It's not one that I would hold for a few minutes like we do for our yin poses. Certainly practicing this for long periods of time or too much could actually induce headaches. So release when you're ready. Coming down onto your navel now. If it's an option for you, you'll come into a laying chest opener. So option one, now we're gonna keep the right arm bent and at most the elbow in line with the shoulder. So option one, left hand can be a pillow. If you find that that's still too strong, take the right hand a little higher instead of having the elbow in line with the shoulder. Final option, if you're able to, roll onto your right hip instead. Just move the mic. So right arm still out to the side, bring your ear to the mat. Left arm can rest in front of the chest or you can take a mudra and a bind. Reach the arm behind the back. Try to relax your lower back. And let's release, left palm down, changing sides now. So again, either laying flat on your belly, using your right palm as a pillow, or if you can, left ear to the mat. Relaxing the lower back. And when the mind wanders, be sure to come back and witness the breath.
And let's release that pose. Returning to your navel. Option to have a block close by for this one. Some of you might choose to use it or not. Here we're gonna cross the right arm in front of the left arm. Make sure the forearms are underneath your chin and not too far in front. And then walk the hands away as far as they will comfortably go. Now you might choose to rest your right ear on the bicep or if you can, bring the body forward just a little so you're laying more on the arms and forehead might rest on the mat or your block. Palms can face up or down, whichever feels better for your shoulders. And always an option to take chin mudra. Breathe in two the shoulders, that space behind the heart. Pull your next inhalation out of the pose. We'll unravel the arms and change sides straight away.
and inhale to come up. Taking a brief rest here, you can turn your head to one side. Let those arms rest next to the body, palms to face the ceiling. And let's lift on up. So for your final pose now, recruiting your blocks if you have them, we're gonna make a T-shape with the blocks. Now, if you don't have blocks, you can improvise with a rolled up towel and you'll place the towel across your shoulder blades. If you've only got one block, um, you can always use a pillow or a thick book as well. So option one, um, you can have the blocks on the neutral height. This horizontal, uh, vertical one is gonna meet at the top of the shoulders. If you need to lighten the pose, the block under the head goes higher. If you want to go deeper, you can take those blocks to the second height and you may even then have the block under the head at the lowest height. So just play, see what feels good for your body. Never looking for your edge, always staying away. Staying away from your maximum stretch. Feel free to keep those knees bent or straighten and relax the legs. Option to find chin mudra, connecting index finger and thumbs. Breathing into the heart center. When you're ready to release the pose, bend those knees. Tuck in the chin, come halfway up. Remove your props. And reclining for Shavasana. Straightening those legs. Now you might like to place your blocks underneath your thighs or your knees. Just another way to gently counter stretch that back bend. Feel free to tuck the shoulders under, connecting index finger and thumbs with chin mudra. 
closing the eyes down, and softening the forehead, the tongue and jaw. And just be. Inhaling a little deeper now to bring your awareness back. Feel free to wiggle toes and fingers. Following those urges to stretch if they arise. And when you're ready, roll onto your preferred side and bring yourself up to seated. Well, thanks for practicing with me today, yogis. I hope that you've managed to release some tension in the upper body and create a little more space. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to the channel as it's the best way to support free yoga on YouTube. Wishing you a lovely day.